Hello. Well, today I'm going to be uh, working on ballasting the track. Before I do that, I'm going to have to uh, put some ties underneath here where I've uh, joined the sections of track together. I also need to paint the rail here, paint the rail joiners to kind of uh, hide the bright, shiny look of the rail joiners and the solder on it. So, uh, and uh, one more thing. I'm also going to give an engine a test run through here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that first. And uh, things seem to be moving pretty smooth. So, so far so good. The solder joints are fairly clean enough. I don't see the train rocking as it goes through the engine, so it looks fairly smooth coming on through. So I think we're good to go. I still haven't actually uh, um, connected my feeder wires to the main bus. So this is just the signal being carried through from the rail joiners, but uh, still need to go ahead and do that, but uh, I can always do that later. Now, I'm going to paint rail joiners. That's not a big deal. I'm just going to take some grimy black and uh, give it a touch. Get rid of that shine that's on there. brief close-up here of the uh, painted rail joiners and also um, how I did the wiring here. I've got uh, cut the insulation and bent the wire over so that uh, the insulation is uh, flush with the road bed. So I'm not letting any bare wire go through the wood. Um, so, uh, so that's uh, insulated there and I bend the wire over and didn't just solder it to the bottom. The rail joiner. Then I use my uh, an old pair of rail nippers to uh, flush cut the remaining wire off, at least get most of it off. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, taking some of. The, oops, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, taking these uh, pieces of tie, cutting off the spike detail and sanding these down a little bit uh, thinner and sliding them under. And I'm just gonna slide underneath like that. I think this ought to work spaced okay. Yeah, I might need to yeah, I might need to slip another tie either through this side or that side. I'm not sure yet. Maybe a little bit of a gap. I don't know. Let me say I'll play around with it. All I'm gonna use is uh, 150 grit sandpaper. Should do it. Just take my finger top and just uh, sand them back off, sand it down a little bit. See, it's kind of thinning it down a little bit. I'm test this, try sliding it underneath. Well, that, that's actually, that's about where I need it to be. There, just like that. Zoom in a little bit. position it with my uh, 
exacto knife. I was thinking, boy, I should try slipping in another tie. My knife here and uh, position this one in place. Just like that. Got this one in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to slip in another piece, another tie. like that. Put this up secure snugly against that. Push this up as far as it goes. And get the ballast in here and we'll be able to see a thing. So dry and uh, 
next time next time I go live I'll have some trains running through here and shoot some video for YouTube so uh, 